So a moment ago, I just saw two young children, and they had pulled a couple of these giant reeds and were walking around with them. And my initial inclination was to think that that was very cute. But I started thinking about it. You know, there's not really that many giant reeds. Oh, sure, maybe there's like 20,000, but there's also 20,000 kids. And kids can pull more than one, and they can visit more than one time. It wouldn't take very long before pulling giant reeds just resulted in there being no more giant reeds left. I didn't say anything, you know. Uh, and I, I don't actually think two reeds, and that's all I saw, is really going to make that much of a difference. I've told the story before about the time I thought I was being helpful by pulling some dandelions, and a gentleman came out who, he happened to be Chinese. There may have been something cultural going on. But he asked me not to do that because he thought that it was a, a pretty flower and he wanted it there. I don't know, maybe he's going to make tea with it or something. Um, or maybe that's an assumption. He didn't say that, he just said it was pretty. Um, and, you know, I never was really able to think about, about weeds the same way. I just accepted it. Somebody told me weeds were bad, they needed to be removed, and I didn't question it. It wasn't until a situation came up that challenged my belief that I was actually able to take a step back and think about it. Uh, and since then, I've never been able to look at dandelions with the kind of scorn that I had before, because I needed somebody to, to challenge my preconception. And it scares me to think, how many things could I be wrong about or, you know, subjectively wrong about, where I just took it for granted because that's the way that I heard it. That's the way that it was explained to me. It's kind of scary to me. What if it, what if it hadn't been weeds? What if it had been a species? What if it had been a, a race? You know? Uh, I think that it's important to challenge beliefs, but I think that we underestimate our need to have outside influences tell us that there is an issue to think about, and then, at that point, we can begin thinking about it. I try to do that. I, I call myself logical, but I realize that at my core, I'm still a human, and the human brain is a pattern-matching device. It is not, at least not at its core, a logic machine. And it actually reminded me of another story that I haven't told that, that happened pretty close, temporally, to the first one. Um, same thing. I was helpfully pulling weeds, except, uh-oh, those weren't weeds. Those were trees. They were very, very young trees, but they were trees. Whoopsie. I'm actually surprised that the, uh, the people who planted those didn't get more mad at me. Or maybe they got mad at me, but they didn't show it. But, uh, the point was, I don't know. Maybe I need to stop trying to be so helpful all the time. Anyways, see ya.